Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. The ball is in your court. It's your turn to take action or make a decision. So, about our project proposal, what do you think we should do next? Well, I've done my research and drafted the initial plan. Now, the ball is in your court. What's your take on it? I appreciate that. I think your research is solid, and I agree with most of your proposed strategies. However, I'd like to see a more detailed timeline and budget breakdown. Got it. I can work on that. Is there anything specific you want to see in the budget? I'd like a breakdown of projected costs for each phase of the project and a contingency plan for unexpected expenses. Sounds reasonable. I'll get that information together. When do you need it by? Our meeting with the stakeholders is in two days, so if you could have it to me by tomorrow, that would be great. I'll prioritize it and make sure you have it in time for the meeting. Thanks, I appreciate your efforts. Let's make sure this project is a success. Absolutely. I'll make sure to provide all the necessary details. The ball's in my court now. I'm hungry. Hey, are you feeling hungry? I could go for some food right now. Absolutely, I'm famished. What are you in the mood for? I could go for some pizza, maybe with a side of garlic knots. Pizza sounds great. There's a good pizzeria nearby. Perfect. Let's go grab a slice or two. While we wait for our pizza, what have you been up to today? Just a typical day at work, nothing too exciting. How about you? I had a busy day too, running errands and doing some housework. I'm so glad we're getting some pizza. It's like a little reward. Absolutely, food is the best way to unwind after a long day. Finally, our pizzas are here. Looks delicious. Let's dig in. That hit the spot. Thanks for suggesting the pizza place. No problem. Anytime you're hungry, just let me know. Buy the book, to do something strictly according to the rules or guidelines. You know, I've been working on this project. And I'm determined to do it all by the book. That's a good approach. Following the established procedures can lead to a successful outcome. Absolutely. I've seen too many projects go awry because people cut corners. It's true. Going by the book ensures everything is done correctly and minimizes risks. It can be a bit time consuming, but it's worth it in the long run. Quality over shortcuts, were right? You've got the right mindset. Staying by the book can also help you maintain your credibility. And it sets a standard for the team. When we follow the rules, everyone knows what's expected. I couldn't agree more. It promotes consistency and professionalism. Plus, it's a safety net. If anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to the procedures. It's like having a roadmap. 
It keeps you on track even when things get complicated. So, I'm sticking by the book on this one. No shortcuts or improvisations. It's the best way to guarantee success. I commend your commitment to doing things right. By the book is the way to go. A penny for your thoughts, a polite way to ask someone what they're thinking or feeling. Did you hear about that amazing investment opportunity a few weeks ago? Yeah, I did, but I didn't take any action on it. You missed the boat, my friend. The returns have been incredible. I, I know. I thought it was too risky, and now I'm regretting it. Well, sometimes, you have to take calculated risks to benefit from such opportunities. Hesitation can cause you to miss the boat. I'm usually pretty cautious with my investments, but I guess I was too cautious this time. It happens to the best of us. The key is to learn from it and be more proactive in the future. You're right. I need to be more open to seizing opportunities when they come along. Absolutely. It's all about finding the right balance between risk and reward. Thanks for the advice. I won't let another opportunity pass me by. Call off, cancel an event or arrangement. Hey, did you hear that they had to call off the company picnic this weekend? Yeah, I heard about it. What happened? The weather forecast is pretty grim, and the park is likely to be a mud pit. They decided to call it off to avoid a complete washout. Bummer. I was looking forward to it. Do you know if they're rescheduling it? They're thinking about it. They might call a meeting next week to discuss an alternative date and location. I hope they can find a suitable replacement because I was really excited to go this year. Me too. The picnic is always a great opportunity for everyone to relax and socialize outside of work. Well, let's keep an eye out for updates. If they reschedule it, we'll need to mark it on our calendars. Definitely. And if not, we can always plan something else for the weekend. True. We could organize a little get together of our own if the picnic doesn't happen. Sounds like a plan. Let's see what the company decides and we'll go from there. Like the back of your hand, to know something very well, completely familiar with it. Do you know where I can find that new restaurant downtown? Of course. I know that area like the back of my hand. You take a left on Maple Street, go straight for a few blocks, and it's right on the corner. Thanks. I've heard they have amazing sushi. What about parking? Is it easy to find around there? Parking can be a bit tricky, especially during dinner hours. Your best bet is the parking garage on Elm Street. It's nearby and you won't have to drive around in circles searching for a spot. Good to know. I appreciate the directions. How about the menu? Any dishes you recommend? Oh, I've been there a few times, and their dragon roll is a must try. If you like spicy food, you'll love it. Awesome. I'll definitely try that. Thanks for your help. No problem. Enjoy your meal, and if you need more recommendations or have any questions, feel free to ask. Will do. Thanks again for being so helpful.
You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs, achieving something often requires sacrifices. I heard you're making some big changes in your life. How's it going? It's been challenging, but you know what they say? You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. That's true. Change often comes with sacrifices. What are you giving up? Well, I decided to leave my stable job and start my own business. It's a risky move, but I believe in the long-term potential. That's a big leap of faith. What made you decide to go for it? I've always had this entrepreneurial drive, and I realized that staying in my current job was holding me back from pursuing my passion. It takes courage to take that step. Are you worried about the challenges? Absolutely, but I'm willing to embrace the difficulties and learn from them. It's the only way to achieve my dreams. I admire your determination. It won't be easy, but with hard work, you can create something amazing. Thanks for the support. It's a bit scary, but like they say, you can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. It's time to break a few. I'm here for you every step of the way. Let's make that omelet. Hang out, spend time with friends. Hey, what are your plans for the weekend? I was thinking of hanging out with some friends on Saturday. How about you? Sounds fun. I'd love to hang out with you all. What's the plan? We're meeting at the park around noon, and then we'll decide what to do from there. Maybe a picnic or some games. That sounds like a great way to hang out and enjoy the nice weather. Yeah, we've been wanting to catch up and just hang out for a while now. It'll be a good opportunity to do that. Count me in. I'll bring some snacks and drinks for the picnic. Awesome. It's going to be a fantastic day. I'm looking forward to hanging out with everyone. Me too. It's been too long since we've all had a chance to hang out together. Well, I'm glad we're making it happen. It's going to be a memorable day of hanging out and having fun. Absolutely. I can't wait for the weekend to arrive. It's going to be a great time to hang out with friends and relax. I'm feeling under the weather. Hey, I'm not feeling too great today. Oh no, what's wrong? You look under the weather. Yeah, I think I caught a cold. I've got a sore throat, a stuffy nose, and I'm just so tired. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you seen a doctor or taken any medication? Not yet, but I think I might need to. I've been trying to rest and drink lots of fluids, but it's not getting better. It might be a good idea to see a doctor just to be safe. And in the meantime, maybe some warm tea with honey and a humidifier could help with your throat and congestion. Thanks for the advice. I'll definitely try that. It's just frustrating being sick. I understand being sick can be really tough. If there's anything I can do to help, like run errands or get you some supplies, just let me know. That's really kind of you. Thanks. Hopefully. I'll start feeling better soon. I hope so too. Rest up and don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Don't worry about it.
I'm really sorry for being late today. Traffic was just a nightmare. Don't worry about it. It happens to the best of us. Thanks for understanding. I hate being late, especially for important meetings. Well, you made it, and that's what matters. Let's focus on the meeting now. You're right. So, where did we leave off? We were discussing the upcoming project timeline. Oh, yes. I think we need to push the deadline by a week to ensure we have enough time for quality work. That makes sense. Can you prepare a proposal for that adjustment and share it with the team? Absolutely. I'll get on it right after this meeting. Great. Thanks for taking care of that. No problem. I'll make sure it's well detailed and explains why the extension is necessary. Perfect. Your attention to detail is always appreciated. Thanks for being so understanding about my lateness today. Don't worry about it. We're a team and we've got each other's backs. A penny saved is a penny earned. Saving money is as valuable as earning it. I heard you started budgeting and saving money. How's that going? It's been quite a change, but I'm determined to make it work. You know what they say, a penny saved is a penny earned. Absolutely. It's a good financial mantra to live by. What made you decide to start? Well, I looked at my expenses and realized I was wasting a lot of money on things I didn't really need. I figured I could put that money to better use. That's a smart move. So, what changes have you made? I've cut down on eating out, started making my coffee at home, and I'm tracking my expenses more diligently. It's amazing how those little changes can add up. It really is. It's all about being mindful of your spending and making the most of your income. Exactly. I'm setting up a savings account for emergencies too. It's a good feeling to see that money grow. You're on the right path. Over time, those small savings will turn into significant earnings and you'll have a financial cushion for unexpected situations. I hope so. Thanks for the encouragement and advice. It's all part of realizing that a penny saved truly is a penny earned. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. Achieving something often requires sacrifices or hardships. You know, I've been thinking about taking that new job offer, but I'm really nervous about leaving my current position. Change is always intimidating, but you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs, right? Yeah, that's true. It's just that I've been at my current job for so long, and I'm comfortable here. Comfort is good, but sometimes you need to step out of your comfort zone to achieve something better. That new job might be a great opportunity. I'm worried about the learning curve and the new team. What if I can't handle it? Making a move can be challenging, but it's also a chance to grow and develop new skills. Remember, you can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. It's all part of the process. I suppose you're right. I need to take a chance and see where it leads. I can't stay in my shell forever. That's the spirit. Embrace the change and believe in your abilities. You'll come out of it stronger and wiser. Just remember, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. The devil is in the details. The fine print or specific details can be the most important and tricky part of a plan.
We've made great progress on the project, but there are still a few issues to iron out. What kind of issues are we talking about? Well, it's mostly related to the budget. The devil is in the details, as they say. I thought we had a solid budget in place. What specifically is causing concern? It's those unexpected costs we didn't anticipate. They're starting to add up, and it's putting pressure on our bottom line. I see. So, what's the plan to address this? We might need to revisit our initial estimates and see where we can cut back or reallocate funds. That's going to require some careful scrutiny. But you're right, the devil is in the details when it comes to finances. Exactly. We can't afford any surprises down the line. I'll work on a revised budget and get it to you for review. Thanks for staying on top of this. Let's make sure we have a solid financial plan in place. Agreed. The devil may be in the details, but we'll tackle them and ensure the project's success. Actions speak louder than words. What people do is more important than what they say. You've been saying for months that you're going to start working out, but I haven't seen you at the gym yet. I know, I know. I keep talking about it, but I've been so busy with work lately. Actions speak louder than words, you know. If you're serious about getting fit, you have to make time for it. You're right. I need to stop making excuses and actually do it. It's not just about the gym, it's about all aspects of life. If you want to improve, you have to take action. I get it. I've been saying I want to eat healthier too, but I keep grabbing fast food on the go. See, that's another example. If you truly want to change your diet, you need to make the effort to cook healthier meals. Thanks for the reality check. I need to stop just talking and start doing. Remember, actions speak louder than words. It's not too late to make those changes. You're absolutely right. I'm going to start making changes today. Thanks for the motivation. Anytime. I'll be here to support you on this journey. I'm all ears. Hey, I've been really stressed out lately with work and everything. I'm all ears. What's been bothering you? Well, it's just that the deadlines keep piling up and I feel like I'm drowning in projects. I can't seem to catch a break. That does sound tough. Have you talked to your boss about it? Yeah, I did, but they said it's just a busy period and things will calm down eventually. But it's been like this for months now. I can understand why you're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe you could try discussing it again, emphasizing how it's affecting your well-being. I'm afraid they'll think I can't handle the workload if I keep complaining. It's important to prioritize your mental health too. They should be willing to find a solution that works for everyone. And if not, maybe it's time to explore other opportunities. You're right. I need to take care of myself. Thanks for listening and giving me some perspective. Of course, anytime. Remember, I'm all ears whenever you need to talk. Show up, arrive or appear. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm Have you seen John around? He was supposed to show up at the office an hour ago. No, I haven't seen him. He should have shown up for the team meeting by now. 
It's not like him to be late. I hope nothing's wrong. I'll try calling him to see if he shows up on the phone. Maybe he's stuck in traffic or something. Did he answer? No, it went straight to voicemail. That's odd. He usually answers calls promptly. I'm starting to get a bit worried. John is usually very reliable. Let's give it a bit more time. Maybe he'll show up soon. And there's a reasonable explanation for his delay. I just got a message from John. He's stuck in a traffic jam due to an accident on the highway. That's why he couldn't show up on time. Ah, that explains it. I'm glad he's okay. Traffic can be so unpredictable. Since why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin. We all have different... Let's go out. Hey, it's been a hectic week. Let's go out. Oh, absolutely. I could use a break. Any ideas in mind? How about trying that new Italian restaurant downtown? I heard their pasta is amazing. Sounds delicious. What day works for you? How about this Friday? I think they have live music that night too, so it should be fun. Friday works for me. What time should we make a reservation? Let's aim for 7.30 p.m. That should give us enough time to relax and enjoy the music. Great. I'm looking forward to it. Do you want me to book the table? Sure, if you don't mind. And I'll check if they have any dietary options, just in case. Sounds like a plan. It's been ages since we had a nice dinner out. Tell me about it. I can't wait to catch up over some good food. Me neither. It's a date then. See you on Friday at 7.30. Looking forward to it. See you then. Take your time. I've been feeling really overwhelmed lately. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything specific on your mind? Well, it's just work, family, and all the responsibilities piling up. I feel like I can't keep up. It's completely normal to feel that way sometimes. Remember, it's okay to take a step back and breathe. I know, but I always feel this pressure to do everything perfectly and on time. Take your time. Perfection isn't always necessary, and it's okay to ask for help when you need it. What can you do to decompress and distress? I used to enjoy painting, but I haven't done that in ages. Maybe it's time to pick up that paintbrush again. It can be a great way to relax and unwind. You're right. I'll start with that this weekend. Thanks for listening. Anytime. And remember, you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Take your time to prioritize self-care and what makes you happy. I appreciate your support. It means a lot. I'm here for you. We all go through challenging times and it's important to lean on. Those who care about us. On the same page, in agreement or having the same understanding. I wanted to talk to you about the project. Are we on the same page with the upcoming deadlines? I believe so, but let's go over it to be sure. The proposal is due by the end of the week, right? Yes, that's correct. And then, the client presentation is scheduled for next Tuesday. Okay, just to confirm, we'll have the entire team meeting tomorrow to review the proposal.
and then we'll finalize it by Thursday. Exactly. I think it's crucial that we're on the same page regarding this project to ensure everything runs smoothly. Agreed. It's a critical project for the company, and I want to make sure we meet the client's expectations. And we should keep each other updated regularly to ensure we stay on the same page throughout. I couldn't agree more. Communication is key to our success on this project. Great! Let's work together closely and make sure we're always on the same page. I have confidence that we can deliver a top-notch proposal. I'm with you on that. Let's do this. Go on, continue or proceed. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hey, I heard you started a new job. How's it going? It's been a great experience so far. I started about a month ago, and I'm really excited about the projects I'm working on. How about you? How's your job search going? Well, I had a few interviews, but nothing has panned out yet. I'm not giving up, though. I'll keep applying and going on interviews until I find the right fit. That's the spirit. Don't get discouraged. The job market can be tough, but the right opportunity will come along. I appreciate your encouragement. I won't let the rejections get to me. I'll just go on with my search. That's the right attitude. In the meantime, you could consider taking some online courses to expand your skill set. It might help you go on a different career path. That's a good idea. I've been thinking about that. I'll explore some courses to keep improving while I go on with my job search. Keep your chin up and remember that persistence pays off. You'll go on to find a job that's the perfect fit for you. Me a favor. Don't treat me like a neighbor. Don't need the different flavors of your The last straw, the final intolerable incident that leads to a decision or action. I heard you finally quit your job. What happened? Yeah, I had too. It was just the last straw in a long line of issues at that place. The last straw? What pushed you over the edge? Well, the constant overtime with no compensation was bad enough. But the final straw was when they started micromanaging every little thing I did. That does sound frustrating. Did you talk to your boss about it? I did, but it didn't change anything. The company culture had become toxic and I needed a healthier work environment. I can understand why you left then. Have you started looking for a new job? Yeah, I'm already sending out applications. I don't want to stay unemployed for long, but I couldn't take it there any longer. I hope you find something better soon. No one should have to deal with such a toxic workplace. Thanks, I appreciate that. I'm determined to find a job where I'm valued and can grow without dealing with the last straw breaking my back. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't worry about things that have already happened and can't be changed. I can't believe it. I accidentally knocked over my coffee all over my laptop. It's ruined. Well, don't cry over spilled milk. It was an accident, and there's no use dwelling on it. I know, but it's such a costly mistake. I have important work on there. It's frustrating, for sure, but stressing about it won't change the situation. Maybe there's a way to salvage your data.
or get it repaired. You're right. I should look into data recovery and see if there's any hope. And in the future, maybe be more cautious around your workspace. We all make mistakes, but it's how we deal with them that counts. You're absolutely right. Thanks for the advice and the pep talk. I needed it. No problem. We all need a reminder sometimes. Life's too short to cry over spilled milk. True. I'll clean this up and take it as a lesson learned. That's the spirit. It's all part of the journey. All bark and no bite. Someone who talks tough but doesn't take action. Did you hear that John is angry with the boss again? Yeah, I did. He's always complaining about the workload and how he's going to confront the boss. But he never actually talks to the boss, does he? It's like he's all bark and no bite. You're right. He talks a big game but never takes any action. It's frustrating. If he's so unhappy, he should address it directly instead of just grumbling to us. Absolutely. He should stop being all bark and no bite and stand up for what he believes in. I hope he realizes that complaining won't change anything. It's actions that make a difference. And if he doesn't do something about it, he'll just keep suffering in silence. Sometimes people need to find their courage and stop being all talk. It's the only way to bring about change. Let's hope he figures that out soon. It's hard to watch him go on like this. Agreed. It's time for him to either bite the bullet and address the issues or stop all the complaining. Hold on, wait for a short time. Hey, do you mind holding on for a second? I just need to grab my jacket. Sure, no problem. I'll hold on. Thanks for waiting. I thought it might get cold later. No worries. I didn't mind holding on. So, what's the plan for the evening? Well, we could go to that new Italian restaurant downtown. I heard it's fantastic. Sounds good to me. Let's go. But hold on, do you know if they take reservations? I'm not sure, but I can call and find out. They do take reservations. I've got us a table for two at 7.30. Excellent. Thanks for checking. I'll hold on to that reservation time. Great. I can't wait to try their pasta. It's been highly recommended. Me too. I've been craving Italian food for a while. Thanks for making the reservation. Let's go and enjoy our meal. Let's do it. It's going to be a fantastic evening. Come along, make progress or develop. How's the new project coming along? It's moving steadily, but we've hit a few roadblocks. We're trying to come up with solutions. I'm glad to hear it's at least making some progress. What are the main challenges you've come across? One issue is that we're having trouble sourcing some of the specialized components we need. It's slowing us down. Have you considered alternative suppliers? That might help it come along more smoothly. Yes, we're actively searching for other options. Hopefully, that will resolve the supply chain issues. Good, and what about the team dynamics? Is the collaboration coming along as expected? The team's getting along well, but communication could be improved. 
We're working on a plan to come together more effectively. That's essential for the project to come along on schedule. Keep me updated on your progress. I will, and we're optimistic that despite the challenges, we can make it come along successfully. I have confidence in your abilities. Let me know if you need any additional support. Thanks, I appreciate your support. We'll do our best to make this project come along smoothly. Cut down, reduce the amount of something. Rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say, yeah. You know, I've been trying to cut down on caffeine lately. Oh, really? Any particular reason for wanting to cut it down? Well, I've noticed that I've been having trouble sleeping, and I think my caffeine intake might be to blame. That makes sense. It can be hard to relax if you're consuming too much caffeine. How's it going so far? It's a bit of a challenge, especially in the mornings, but I've switched to decaf coffee and reduced my soda intake. Good for you. Cutting down gradually can make it easier to adjust. Yes, I didn't want to go cold turkey. The goal is to cut down on caffeine, not eliminate it entirely. Moderation is key. Have you noticed any improvements in your sleep? A little bit. I still have the occasional sleepless night, but it's getting better. Keep it up, and your body will likely adjust over time. Cutting down on caffeine is a step in the right direction for better sleep. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm determined to continue with this and hopefully get back to a more regular sleep pattern. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I built all never captain space. Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below. And if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comments section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.